everybody, Mrs. Hawkins here with your directions for the Bitmoji for week two. So right after I make this video, the directions will be posted where it says directions for week two. Okay, starting out in no particular order. Remember, you don't have to do these in any order. There's nothing that you have to do like number one, number two, number three. But uh, we'll go around. So if you go to the Zoo Phonics and click on the clownfish, that's for Coach L's little video. Um, we got to actually click on the little clownfish, Miss Becky. There you go. There you go. And Miss Coach L's video will pop up. We want you to really try to learn these lesson, uh, the ABCs, Zoophonics, sounds. So I suggest that you do half one day, half the next day, half one day, half the next day, and then you can try to put them all together. Remember as many as you can, but that's her link. If you go down to the little diver, he's got an ocean, he's got the ocean song. You can see that, that's the one we're learning about the five oceans. Um, if you go up to the wrapping padlet, Mrs. Hawkins, if you click on the little microphone first, Mrs. Hawkins did a wrap of a book for you. And then I made a padlet. So if you want to wrap a book or don't even have to wrap a book, you just want to wrap anything, uh, there will be a link there that you can click on the padlet and um, put your own wrap in, okay? So, or it doesn't, it can be pictures, it could be your science experiments, it doesn't have to be a wrap. But we just did some fun things there. You go down to our little bookcase. We're underwater, you see this time. That There's a book there on that bookcase. You can click on that for a read aloud about the ocean. You can go over to the science speaker and you can click on that. And there's some new science experiments over there. When you click on the Rubik's Cube, you can find our jigsaw puzzles. And you can do those. You can make them harder and harder as you do. Um, and then on the bottom of the bookshelf, I also have a, another book connected and I'll move that up so that you can see it better when we post it. Uh, but there's another book there. Um, when you go to Zern Math, you know how to log in already. I see most people have logged in. You click on the, you kind of have to click on the bottom and it'll take you to the, the, that's your login page, okay? Most of you have already logged in, so keep on working. You're doing a great job. Mrs. Hawkins has done a 10 frame lesson this time where I'm gonna teach you about the 10 frames and in your packet that went home, there's also some 10 frame flashcards. So those flashcards will go with that lesson. And then if you wanna practice some online 10 frame, um, remember 10 frames are about recognizing numbers quickly. So you can also do that as well. So click on there. If you go over to writing with Miss Becky, Miss Becky has got five writing lessons for you this week. So you don't have to start with one, but it's, it's highly suggested. <laughs> But you don't have to um, do it on Monday or anything. You can do it any day of the week you want. So, but we do have five writing lessons. And these lessons, you can practice over and over because learning how to write is probably one of the hardest activities that you will ever do. It involves all parts of your brain, your, your fine motor skills with your fingers, your mental thinking, knowing how to read. So we're gonna really spend a lot of time on getting you to be good writers. So we have five different lessons that you can click on for Miss Becky. You can go to the All About Me poster down there um, and we put your All About Me poster in your bag of goodies that you're gonna pick up on Monday here at the Queen Ka'ahumanu entrance. Drive up to the sidewalk. Your bags will be down there on the grass. Please find your name and pick up your bag. So this is Monday, anytime between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. And then there is a Zoom link uh, right here on the Zoom link. So there's a link, the number, and a reminder for everyone that, um, so yeah, that's the link, or you can just log in with the number. And remember, I have that same password that I always use. I will text, put it in the dojo again, but I never change that password. And then um, I have a reminder, our Zoom read aloud is at eight o'clock on Thursday morning with Miss Becky. And we go for 40 minutes. And then we also have office hours, Monday through Tuesday, eight to 10. And we notice that our Zoom times out if we're not using it. So just dojo me or text me and say, I'd like to join in on the Zoom and we'll 
make sure that it's refreshed so that you can jump on in. All right, so we had a really successful week one considering we're doing this all digitally. We had a lot of fun and I love all your posts. Keep the good work up. And I am going to post week two and we will get started on that. Can't wait to see all your work. Thanks guys, bye.